<sighs> All right, what's up, guys? Hey, uh, Nick White here. Do, I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. You can check the description for all my information. Uh, it's got everything. This is an easy problem called minimum absolute difference. Um, we're on number 1200 here. So this, oh, this is a newer one. So not a lot of likes, but um, it's pretty easy. Given an array of distinct integers, meaning the integers are all different. There's no duplicates. Uh, find all pairs of elements with the minimum absolute difference between any two elements. Um, so return a list of pairs in ascending order with respect to pairs. Each pair A, B follows. Okay. So how do we do this? Well, we want to find the minimum absolute difference between any two elements. So we want to find the minimum possible difference between two elements. Um which, like in this case, it would be 1, because 2 and 1, the minimum difference uh, is closer than like 4 and 1 or 3 and 1. It's uh, You just find the minimum difference, and then you find all pairs that are only 1 apart, right? So in this case, the min difference is between 2 and 1. It's 1, and then you find all pairs that are 1 apart. Um, and you keep doing that for the other ones, right? Minimum absolute difference is uh, two in this case, that's the closest pair of numbers right here, and then you just return them because it's the only one that has, uh, where the numbers have a distance of two. It's pretty self-explanatory, so to find the minimum distance between two numbers, we the arrays are not sorted, but if we sort them, then it makes it easy because the, close, the closest numbers will be right next to each other. Um, so yeah, it's so easy, honestly. Like, uh, sorry, I, I know people get ups upset if they're beginners. If, they're, if you're a beginner, you might be confused about this, but it's not too difficult. Really, you're just doing a for loop through an array. Sorry. Sorry again. Um, and you're having a minimum difference variable, min diff. We want to find the minimum absolute difference between any two numbers. So we'll set it to, you set your mins to maxes and maxes to mins. Remember that, guys. Um, we're sorting because we want the numbers to be close together. So you use this built-in sort, arrays.sort array. Um, you could build your output array. It has to be of type list of lists because it's going to be pairs. So you could just build it. We could call it results or output array or whatever you want to call it. It's just an array list. Um, you loop through, and since it's already sorted, all we have to do is update min diff with the min. So uh, min diff will be equal to math.min of the current element minus the previous element uh, and you have to start at one so you don't go out of bounds but um you do the current you just go in pairs of two and you check the difference the numbers are all sorted so the close the difference will be minimum minimized between each two numbers closest numbers will be together so you just check against the current min diff and the current pair of integers this will find the minimum absolute difference between t any two numbers in the array. Then you just do one more for loop um, where now you just add any pair that is has an equal difference to min diff. So you can just do if array of i minus array of i minus one is equal to min diff, then that has the same difference as the minimum absolute difference and then we make a pair. So we could say a list of integers um, pair is equal to new array list and we will add pair dot I don't know which one you have to add first it's like ascending order so I think you have to add my i minus one first and then you add i because um, yeah this is the larger one right so um, and then you just add pair to the result so result dot add pair and yeah that's the whole problem it's pretty easy so uh, the only thing you have to know is array lists, and um, I did this like hours ago. Okay, there we go. That's the whole solution. End log n runtime, and then you just have your output array for space, no extra space. So just constant space, end log n. Um, you just have you know a list, a list of integers. Or if you don't know what are you're you're looping through. We do a built-in sort. You're looping through. Finding the minimum difference by updating them using math.min between each two elements. The elements are all sorted, so there are, the min difference will be close. The elements are close that are closest to each other are right next to each other, so you just have to check these. Once you find that, you just check the pairs again, and you just see any difference that's equal to min difference. You make a pair and then list of integers, and then you add it onto the result, and we return it. Very straightforward. 
Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Sorry if I bash the easy problems. I just, uh, I've done like a lot of them and they're all very similar. Uh, main concepts are just looping um, and basic data, adding things to data structures and then maybe a little math trick. So let me know if you have any questions about this. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. All right, see ya.